Welcome again on this web application penetration testing series. Today we are going to discuss about PHP web shell uploading techniques to uh, take unauthorized access to the web server by injecting a malicious piece of code that are written in PHP. So guys, welcome again. My name is Sumit Jain and I'm your instructor. I'm basically ethical hacker and cybersecurity expert currently working in Snack Red team and Pentabug Red team. Apart from that, I am Senior Security Specialist at Gtron Networks. I have 10 plus years experience. And previously, I am working as a guest instructor at Central Detective Training School. Right now, I'm helping students, fresh, freshers, professionals to build their career in uh, cybersecurity. So what are web shells? Web shells are the PHP scripts that are uh, coded in many languages like PHP, Python, ASP, Perl, and so on, which further uses backdoor for legitimate access to any server by uploading it on a web server. The attacker can then directly perform the, the read and write operation once the backdoor is uploaded to a destination. You can edit any file or of delete the server file. So Kali Linux have some inbuilt PHP scripts for uh, utilizing them as a backdoor to assist pen testing work. So we have three PHP scripts inbuilt in our Kali Linux. One is simple backdoor. Second one is QSP PHP backdoor. And the last one is PHP reverse shell. You can find all the PHP scripts in this return path slash user slash share slash web shells and PHP. So first, let's understand about what is simple backdoor PHP shell. So simple backdoor PHP is a kind of web shell that can generate a remote code execution once injected in the web server. So let's see how you can use this PHP web shell to inject any application and uh, generate a backdoor PHP shell. So move on to our Linux. Go to the path of slash user slash share slash web shells slash PHP. And you can see there are multiple shells already available in our Linux. PHP backdoor, PHP reverse shell, PHP simple backdoor, QSD PHP. And uh, let's check the permission as well of all these files. So these files have all the permission set. Now start our DVWS server and see if we can upload any PHP shell and uh, generate a shell. So start our DVWA lab. So this is my DVWA lab. Let's change the CVRT and go to the file upload function. Now upload this simple backdoor PHP. The file is uploaded. Go to the file path where file is uploaded and visit as you can see we have successfully uploaded the malicious php file and received the hyperlink of the uploaded file now we can observe that here that cmd equals to cat plus etc slash password is a clear indication for remote code execution. So let's try and run C uh, cat cd cat etc password to retrieve all the passwords of the server. So we are copying this path or this command and execute on our URL. 
and you see we have extracted all the records of password files hence we can execute any command such as ls cp or so on so therefore we can obtain web shell by exploiting rc rc using this simple backdoor php scripts now we have one more shell in our kali linux that is qsp php backdoor so this is an exploit of a web shell generally considered as a backdoor that enables an attacker to access and control a server remotely and uh, the qsd php backdoor shell is a kind of backdoor which provides a platform for executing system command so let's upload this shell as well and see if we can make a connection so i'm going back to our lab going to the file upload function and uploading this qsd php backdoor shell now this is uploaded and you see the file is uploaded successfully now try to access the shell as we did in the previous step you will find something like this i'm copying the path and visiting the file path where this shell is uploaded so you can perform directly traversal and you can also access the web server directly by entering the command and clicking on the go button so i am going to the root directory and you see this is the root directory file paths if i type ls and executing that command so You can also execute arbitrary system command since the this backdoor provides a platform to execute the shell command such as cat ect etc password ls hyphen al and much more now moving on to our next shell that is php reverse shell so what is php reverse shell php reverse shell will open an outbound tcp connection from the web server to a host a shell will attach to the tcp connection a reverse tcp connection you can run interactive programs such as telnet ssh etc with this script it is different from the other web shells script through which you can send a single command and then return the output for this we need to open this script through vim and uh, give our local host so let's go back to our dvwa lab and before using before uploading this file let's change the file i'm going to the file path So here is PHP reverse shell and I'm you you have to change your localhost IP here. I already changed this and then save this file. And now upload this file and start a netcat server to listen on this IP. So I am starting a netcat server and now upload this file to our testing lab. I am uploading this PHP reverse shell.
So as you can see, this file is successfully uploaded. Now copy this path and make a visit where our file is uploaded. As soon as you will execute the uploaded file, the A web server should have thrown back a reverse shell to your netcat listener. And uh, you can verify that we have got the shell successfully. So let's open this and just check our netcat listener. As you can see, we have make a successful connection using this PHP reverse shell. So there are multiple methods to use these PHP shells. Now we have a we have also a Weebly shell in our Kali Linux. So Weebly is a tool. So Weebly is a stealthy PHP internet shell which uh, simulates the link to Tenlet and is it is uh, designed for remote server administration and penetration testing. It can be used as a stealth backdoor, a web shell to manage legit web accounts. It is essential tool for web application post exploitation. So we can generate a PHP backdoor protected with the password. So you have to open Weebly. So Weebly is a pre-installed and you can check the uses. So it can generate a new agent it can recover an existing session and run terminal or command on the target. So let's generate a shell using Weebly. So I'm using generate and then uh, give a password to our file. I'm giving here one, two, three, four, and then a generating a shell. So let's name the shell with shell.php. So a shell will be created. Now you can see what is written in this shell. This is the shell we created using Weebly. Now upload this shell onto your DVWS server. So I'm uploading this shell. So shell is uploaded successfully. Copy the copy the file path. As you can see, shell is uploaded, but nothing is available so we have to execute this uploaded shell using weebly so copy the old copy the uploaded url and uh, use weebly to generate a session so This is my file path where the shell is uploaded and uh, give your password. And you can see we have, we, uh, we go to the victim shell through Weebly. We can verify with the ID command or something like that. So using this, you can check file upload functionality with different reverse shells, different PHP shells that are available on Linux. And you can also generate a customized shell using Weebly. So if you like this, you can follow me on below platforms. You can subscribe the YouTube channel with the name of Cybersecurity Zone. You can follow me on LinkedIn and you can follow me on Twitter as well. 
So all the available important links are available in video description. So you can subscribe and follow my YouTube channel. And with that note, I will take your leave today. So thank you everyone.